What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fudge Muppet, my name is Scott and today we have a Nerd Rage Is It Worth It? Now one of my first characters, the very first character in fact that I played in Fallout 4 did use this perk and I'm gonna share my little experience with it. Now straight off the bat, it is a really good perk. The perk itself is a really good effect. The perk allows you when you drop below 20% health Time slows and you gain 20 damage resistance and do 20% more damage while the effect lasts. At rank 2 that becomes 30 damage resistance and 30% more damage. And at rank 3 that becomes 40 more damage resistance and 40% more damage while Nerd Rage is in effect. Plus, kills you make while enraged restores some lost health. Now, is it worth putting three perk points into Nerd Rage? I'm gonna say it's very, very, very situational. For instance, my character was really low endurance. It would have worked fine with this because I would have been at 20% health a lot. But the thing is, I used other things to counter the fact that I had low health. So I would use power armor or I would use a lot of stim packs and have a lot in the medic perk. Because Nerd Rage's whole function is a sort of last resort thing, you're at 20% health and it just lets you shoot them up and you know save yourself in the situation. In the same way, you can just use a stim pack or if you are that really sort of weak frail character, be in power armor, beef up your armor, so you just don't really want to be at 20% health a lot of the time, like you want to be sticking stim packs in yourself when you get that close. So my experience is I didn't actually use it a lot, I got the perks, the thing is I rarely got in the situation where it actually activated and gave me any benefit. So I would say that it's not worth the three perks for most characters, however, if you are playing a really frail character, maybe like a diplomat character or a sneaky type character, that if compromised, they will get shot at, you're not going to be in power armor, you're not going to be in high damage resistance armor, then maybe it is for you and it could really save your life in these situations. But then again, you could always just sort of accept your fate, die, and then try again and do it better and load back on your save. But that depends on how you are. It's just not the best. It's a little too situational and having to be at 20% health or lower is a bit of a problem and that's what it's been like in the previous games as well. It's never been that effective because you have to be below 20% health and it's not strategic to be below 20% health a lot of the time. So you're rarely gonna use it. It's a real, it's a fail safe kind of thing. I mean, we used it in our scientist build as a fail safe kind of thing and it works well if you want to spend the perks on it. Like you can easily make a build with the Nerd Rage perk. It's just if you're going for like that real efficiency, like I'm gonna put all my perks in the bare minimum like what matters you'd be better off doing like crafting or something or, or some of the damage perks something like that maybe hacking or lock picking maybe even just putting more points into your specials I think you would get more benefit from putting those three perk points elsewhere though then again I will say it is a fun perk like most things in Fallout 4 most of the perks most of the weapons even if they're not the best or they're too situational they really seem to be quite fun so it's completely up to you but in my humble opinion I would say most of the time Time, it is not worth it. Only if you have a particularly frail character, like three or lower endurance, and you have really high intelligence, and you're not using power armor, and you're gonna be running out there shooting, or if you're a melee character with really low endurance, though you really shouldn't be doing that anyway. And I'm sure you can make some really interesting builds by making Nerd Rage a sort of main feature by having a frail character that actually takes damage, but then deals heaps. It'd be a really weird sort of build, but yeah, so, Overall, not worth it unless you are a frail character with no armor. So that's my opinion on the Nerd Rage perk. Subscribe to us for more videos like this, Fallout 4 builds, and also Fallout 4 guides in general. I'm Scott, and I'll see you next time.